going to be my latest update for the big foot cell application. So the stance is like this, the left arm guards, the right arm has to sit here and come off the guard. You have a relatively high stance with a narrow base. You want to go forwards and backwards, pivot around, kind of move like that. So if your opponent is relatively far away, then you're going to come like this and hook their leg, come up with your hand to block, and then elbow. If they're a little bit closer, then you can clap their wrist with your hands like this, come up, and hook their leg. And do the same thing. Or pull them back, lift the arm up, swing it down, throw the arm over your head, punch, and then hook the leg just like that. And do the same thing. If they're even closer, then you can pull yourself back and then come into the wrist grab and do either one of those wrist grabs. And if they're um, pretty close, like they're kind of clenched up, then you can suck their arms in, go into an empty stance, kind of move them around a little bit, come out, grab their head, Turn them like this, do a double palm strike, a kick, come back like that, and then do the same wrist grab motion. So it all depends on how close they are. And then all those moves are also counters. So um, by definition, if someone's attacking you, they're going to be close to you because they have to touch you. But um, basically, if it has like a lot of momentum and it's kind of coming from a far point, then you want to use one of the far moves to counter. And if it's a little bit closer, you know, and there's a little bit less momentum behind the strikes, then you want to use one of the, um, you know, closer entries to um, counter and get in. Now, sometimes someone might be too far or, t you know, just clinched up so tight and you need to make up space or close space. Or you just want to close space or make up space anyways. So if they're too um, close, or if they're too, they're too close, then you can pull them in like this and do a double punch to get them off of you. And if they're too far away, then you can, you gotta start off by moving your leg back or just moving your right leg forward if you want, whichever one, depending on the space. Come like this and then spin around into you know, your attack. Um, now, you can also attack them if they're far away by jumping forward and push these two prongs and punching their stomach. If they're a little bit closer, one hand uh, hits the arms, the other the head, and then you can punch you know, the stomach. If they're even closer, you can T-stance and go into that same motion. And if they're even closer still, you can uh, collect their arms like this, come up, do a triple uh, upward cut, and go right back into it. Now, sometimes um, your opponent might be um, too close and you want to get them further away. So the way you do that is um, you come like this and you you know, go right over their, their uh, hands, and then you push them away with these triple palm thrusts. And if they're too far away and you want to get closer, you can spin around like this with an elbow, and then a kick. And that gets you closer. And then from there, you can go directly into your, um, any one of those four motions. And also, the same thing with counting your plies, where, um, they can all be done just attacking or countering an opponent's attack. But if you're going to do them to counter an opponent's attack, the ones that are for further away, those are going to be used for attacks that are coming from further away with more momentum. And the ones that are a little bit less momentum close together, you're going to use the closer attacks to, um, to counter that. Okay, so if I elbow someone um, and I want to grapple, 
I can spin my arms around like this, attack their hand, scoop their butt, and go right into like a takedown. Or I can reach over this hand, pull a hand down and jab, and then go right into an upper body takedown. I can also continue striking by slapping their hands down, punching like this, and then from punching like this, I can either, um, if I, if I um, from here, I can either come here with a uh, pound, and then here, or I can do a double kick, and then a jumping kick. They both come from that. Um, and then finally, I can um, finally, I can do a crescent kick and then come into a punch like that. Now from this punch, uh, if I wanna, I can swing my arms like this, pound down, scoop the butt for a takedown. I can do the jab for an upper body takedown. I can do a double elbow or I can spin my arms on like this. Punch into a leg hook elbow. So that's the basics of the style. Um, and the only other part is the finishing move. So if your opponent is doing the wrong thing and they're kind of on the ropes, you can do jumping snap kick and follow into a chamber punch or kind of like an overhead horse dance punch. And you can just go right into the horse dance punch without the staff kick if you want to. So.